Hello, this is Pranav Podwal from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. And I would like to present on the topic functional space variation inference and its application in the medical domain. So first and foremost was the motivation. Although AI and ML have taken over the field of cancer research and uh, we are not able to deploy them to the real world because of issues of safety and uh, interpretability. Bayesian inference provides us with the tool to deal with it. So the main goal of Bayesian inference is to compute the output distribution Q, Y, star given X star. And it is done by marginalizing out the uh, parameter distribution P or post theta, P theta given D. Since exact integration is intractable, we have to rely on Monte Carlo sampling. Basically, sample uh, n different neural networks on our posterior and average them out. Basically, an ensemble of n different neural networks. Now, exact posterior cannot be computed again. So, we have to rely on another trick, which is basically uh, define a surrogate posterior and bring it close to the true posterior in the Kullback divergent sense. Okay, so how do we look at modern day neural networks? In, especially in the case of classification. So for a K-class classification task, we view a neural network as a function from the input space to the a point on the K minus one dimensional simplex. Now, uh, if you want to make a prediction of the output distribution, it is usually assumed to be a categorical random variable conditioned on the softmax output. Now, after understanding this, we can clearly see a map, maybe not one to one, but uh, exact uh, a map exists from the uh, parameter space to the functions represented by the neural network. And defining a prior on this uh, parameter space implicitly defines a prior on the functions, distribution of functions. And now it is hard to uh, understand the link between the two. And therefore, the cleverer way to go about this would be to directly de uh, define a prior on the uh, functional space and in our case the most ideal prior would be to uh, would be a completely uncertain prior or a completely uniform prior on this k minus one dimensional simplex which is nothing but state with all parameters uh, one now in our case uh, uh, the output of a, uh, a neural network is a distribution of functions so, uh, uh, whereas in the previous neural network, it was just a point on the simplex. Uh, it is now an entire distribution on this K minus one dimension simplex. And for simplicity's sake, we have assumed this marginal functional distribution to be a Dirichlet distribution. So it is uh, uh, similar to how a Gaussian process has a multivariate Gaussian as a marginal distribution. So every point on this uh, GP is a Gaussian, right? That's the one-to-one uh, uh, -one link between that and this. So how do we go about training this? We have to minimize the functional elbow rather than the standard elbow as defined by Sun et al. The only problem in doing so is the second term here. So to do that, we have to rely on a trick by uh, sampling some so-called measure points and minimizing the marginal distribution of functions at only these finite set of points. Now, since our marginal distribution is uh, nothing but Dirichlet distribution, this uh, L2 term is uh, uh, can be computed in its closed form. K11 between uh, distribution can be computed in its closed form. So L2 has a closed form solution. Now the first term is nothing but the expected cross entropy, which again has a closed form solution. Combining L1 plus L2 will give us the same loss function as the evidence of deep learning. The only missing thing is so we have also taken into account outer distribution samples and made them more uncertain. Otherwise, both are exactly the same. And in terms of performance too, both give up, uh, exactly the same performance or almost the same performance and uh, the final conclusion is functional space vi have a, a slight underfitting compared to other Bayesian methods but a significant boost in terms of calibration and uh, therefore are ideal for detecting outer distribution samples as that uh, can be seen from this example